Hi, Gemini. I'm Brenda, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 19th to the 26th, 2017. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, and every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, I can do that for you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and push that button and it will take you to my website where you'll see the services that I offer and how to schedule a, either a, a reading or a Reiki session with me. We start our week with the Ten of Earth, my friend. Gemini, and this is a great card, and this has been showing up. Some of these cards in your reading have been showing up in others as well. So it tells me that things have to do, we'll see as we get along in all the other signs, but I'm seeing a lot of earth cards coming up, which has to do with the material part of your life, jobs, correct, uh, professions, how we bring that abundance and that currency into our lives. It can have to do with the ecosystem, Mother Earth, nature, and our closest circle, which is our immediate family, or people we feel closely enough to feel as though they're family with us. And this is a wonderful card. This is a Midas Touch card. This is you're going to land on your feet and come up smelling like roses all this week. Any any opportunities coming down your path, I need you need to know, I want you to know that you can confidently accept them, okay? You can't do anything wrong. This is the Midas Touch card. It is the card of successful times right now for some of you. Six of Earth, another great card for Tuesday. This talks about gifts coming in in the form of money, time, and or effort. Uh, I see new career opportunities coming in for some of you. And I do see some of you that uh, have applied for a loan. It's been approved and you'll get those monies. And those that were paying off a long-standing debt, you're going to have the resources to clear that debt. You know, this isn't my favorite card. This is the Ego. This is crying in your week on Wednesday. And this is the Bandage Fix card I talk about. It. This is about being overly focused on material things. This is feeling the entrapment, uh, the feeling of entrapment. But it's all false. It's a false sense of entrapment. Because what it means is uh, when you go out and you do things randomly uh, to give you immediate gratification because you can't, and it's a distraction. You do it for a distraction because there's a, uh, a deeper root emotional issue that you don't want to deal with, okay? So you need a distraction. So you go out and you spend too much money or you go out and you do things that you shouldn't do and then afterwards you regret it and you think, oh man, and your problem is still there. So this is a cautionary card. Please deal with that root issue. Deal with the issue at hand and you won't get yourself into this kind of trouble. On Thursday, an air card, seven of air. Air cards have to do with dealing with the injustice that comes into our lives, and sometimes that's in the form of legal issues. This is telling me that there's some plans that are going to have to be revised because of dealing with these legal issues or injustice that people have brought into your life and how you have to make these fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around these individuals. There's more going on behind the scenes, okay, than meets the eye that you need to find out about. Because if you jump in with both feet with these plans that you've been wanting to do, they refer to it as poor timing, so you need to find out all what's going on behind the scenes first. Ace of Water, relationship card, can be romantic or not, and aces are the beginnings of all things in all suits, and this is the beginning of some of you that have met someone you're falling in love. And also, it shows me it will be the beginning of the repair of a relationship. There may have been problems in a long-standing relationship some of you are in. And this relationship now is going to uh, show the resurgence again of it. It's almost like um, you are going to experience spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, some of you. Others, I see, you are going to be moving to a new home. Ten of Earth for Saturday. Again, another Earth card, and this is telling me, uh, and I talked about this being your closest circle, your family, it shows me that your family life is very good for some of you, and some of you actually have financial security as well. So this is a great card for both those things. Uh, but this card is saying, even though you're in a great, happy place right now, and it's wonderful, you still need to enjoy the little things in life. Don't forget about those little things that can make you happy and bring you joy and your bliss and your peace. Now, on Sunday, the last day of the week, you've been given a fire card, and you've been given the Five of 
fire. And this came up too. This is showing me another in another reading that someone is going to be uh, coming in near the end of the week and they're going to want to pick a little bit of a fight with you. And the reason is they have the same competing goals as you do and they bring in some bothersome details that you're going to have to sort out with them. So please know that it, it, it's going to come in the form of someone bringing in a little bit of a conflict because they have the same competing goals as you. At the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one Ascended Masters Oracle card to tie in this tarot read and reading, and they gave you this card, Trust. So this is all about you trusting your own intuition, trusting yourself where it is you're going on your personal path. But it also comes up for others where there is trust issues against other individuals, and the best advice I can give you on that is trusting your own intuition, what it's telling you about that individual. And if it isn't good, then it isn't good. If it is good and you feel they're good, then go with it. You need to go with your own intuition and your own gut feelings on that when it comes to trusting other people as well as yourself. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, Gemini. And again, I leave you with another quote. And that quote is, focus on the journey, not the destination. Joy is found not in finishing an activity, but in actually doing it. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Gemini.